what's going on y'all today i am testing out white vinegar versus clr to see which one is better at removing rust now i recently did a video on just using white vinegar and it absolutely works but in the comment section of that video i've had a lot of people say that clr would dominate white vinegar so what i'm going to do is put white vinegar in this glass put CLR in this glass, submerge these locked up rusty pliers. They can't even budge right now. I'm squeezing it and it ain't, it ain't moving at all. So both of these pliers are locked up. That one moved a little bit. All right, but both of them are rusty, locked up. We're gonna submerge them for 24 hours in the vinegar and then in the CLR. And we're gonna see which one is better at removing rust. We're also going to discuss cost, chemicals, and all of that at the end of the video. So let's put the vinegar in the glass and uh, let's see what happens. Y'all, my wife is going to kill me for using our beer glasses for this experiment. But in the name of science, let's do it. I think it'll be worth the lashing that I get. CLR going in. Ooh, this stuff is green. Pliers going in, 24 hours. I will come back and see y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all, so I just want to do a 12 hour update. It is almost seven o'clock here so a little less than 12 hours but i'm gonna show y'all what we got going on right the vinegar you can smell it pretty strong right there but you can kind of see it bubbling up definitely reaction going on there we're starting to see some particles fall down in the bottom of the glass definitely working and then we go over to the clr it has a little bit of bubbles but not that much of reaction going on but you can still see some suspended particles in there got a little bit of particles at the bottom but as of right now the vinegar definitely looks like it's going to come out better than the clr but we'll come back to y'all in 12 hours and complete this deal uh, at the 24 hour mark so we've been going right at 24 hours now we got our vinegar over here but you can clearly see that it's knocked off a lot of rust and it's still bubbled up right here uh, still reacting a little bit and we got our CLR which it hasn't had as much of a reaction there's not as much sediment in there um, but that doesn't mean anything when we take these tools out it, that rust could wipe right on off of there um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some rags a wire brush and a cup of water we're gonna wear some gloves make sure we don't get any chemicals on our hands from the CLR and, uh, and we're gonna clean these guys up. So the first tool we're gonna grab is the one that was in the vinegar. So these were seized up pretty good and they are loosened up very, very well. So, I mean, before we did this, we couldn't move these at all. So, all right, it's definitely got the rust out of there and uh, allowing them to, to move freely. We're just going to take our wire brush and scrub it a little bit. All right, y'all. So Hit it with the wire brush, cleaned it up. All the rust is off of the surface. All we gotta do now is just oil it up a little bit and bam, right? Those things are good as new. Now, we're talking about distilled white vinegar, store grade. This is not industrial grade vinegar. You can get it anywhere and it's only a few dollars coming in at like three or four dollars for this whole thing and in which you only need to use a little bit of it and you have this in your house more than likely this is something that everybody has in their pantry in their house so you don't have to run out to the store 
uh, and, and buy any. Also, I mean, it, it's harmless, right? There's no chemicals in your vinegar, nothing like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, just look at it. So it works really, really good for cleaning the rust off these tools. Now we're gonna go into the CLR and uh, see what those look like. All right, so these were seized up as well. And they're still, they're still seized up, y'all. I would say these tools were seized up about the same. I'm starting to loosen it up a little bit. I'd say the vinegar definitely, definitely worked better than the CLR. Because these are, we could probably work some of that rust out and get it to go back. But uh, let's go ahead and put that wire brush on there and see if we can get that rust to come off of there. y'all and that is the pliers that i used with the clr so we cleaned the rust off pretty easily with that wire brush but i just feel like it didn't penetrate as deep as the vinegar did um we're looking at this small thing of clr is about seven bucks from lowe's and uh you know we used half of it in this one glass to soak this tool so it is a little bit more expensive for the clr it's not something that you're typically just going to have uh, in the convenience of your home and even though it says 80 percent plant-based uh, and has all this safer choice stuff on there it's got a lot of warning labels on there um, there's definitely some chemicals in here uh, that you don't want your kids or dogs or anything like that getting a hold of. You got your vinegar, which is safe for consumption. Um, you know, if, if your kids or somebody got into the vinegar, dogs, it's not, nothing's really going to happen. Um, whereas the CLR is, it's got all these chemicals in it. It costs more. And in my opinion, it didn't work as well. I mean, these pliers, I can still feel they're not near as smooth as these cutters right here i mean that vinegar definitely in my opinion penetrated better than the clr did y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments tell me if this is something that y'all would use Just tell me if there's a product that y'all think would beat the vinegar that's not clr and uh we're gonna drop another video soon uh, with something else versus the vinegar probably another rust remover and we're gonna see if the vinegar can beat out the other rust removers y'all thank y'all for watching i appreciate y'all tuning in hit that like button comment with any questions subscribe to the channel we'll see y'all later